In this screencast, you'll see how you can take a fully functional site um, and then kind of turn it into a blueprint and a postage stamp with Profiler Builder. So what I have here is a site, it's a work in progress, um, but I would say I want to stamp this out for other people. So I've been working on the site for several months. I go and I grab a copy of Profiler Builder and turn it on. Wait a second while it stalls. I've done screencasts on Profiler Builder before, um, but I'm getting a lot of questions recently about how you actually go through the whole notions of, of stamping this out somewhere else. Um, this isn't going to give you content. Profiler Builder has, or Profiler has support for it. Um, but Profiler Builder does not yet. So once that's installed, you go into Development and then Profiler Builder. And you get a couple options. Um, most likely, if this is like for a distribution that you want to use over and over and over again, you probably don't want to export variables. Um, had that conversation today. Um, so let's name this something. Um, our sample. And you'll see it creates a machine name. So this is the package it will stamp out. You'll have our sample as your install profile. Uh, description is just what's on the page as well. So this is a sample. Bring this up somewhere else. Um, exclusive is a, there's a link to a Drupal.org discussion. I don't actually think this patch has been accepted in the core yet, but you can actually make it so your install profile sti uh, skips a couple steps. Um, dependencies, if you turn this off, this isn't going to be useful at all. But just for consistency, it's there. Um, so we'll remove variables from stamping. And then we're gonna, a couple other things, you can create an admin role, you can create defaults like a standard profile. I'm gonna do that because this is a, totally a demo. Um, you'll see it detected some patches. Um, it's not turned up wrong, I don't care about that one for this demo. Um, and these libraries, I'm actually gonna tell it not to get any of these libraries because um, they'll just give me more things I have to do. Profiler, yeah, we'll do that. Um, make file for local development. If you turn this off, then it'll be you know, for Drupal packaging on Drupal. Level. So what we're gonna do now is we'll just hit download. And this will give me a, a tar package, which I'll open up here in a second. And you should get something like this. If you'd use the drush base command for generating this file, um, you'll get some other options. It'll, it, it's a little more complete as to what else you have to do. Um, so, now I have this sample here, and first thing you're gonna to do, so this is my local host development area. I'm gonna move this over there. All right, so it's just a little easier to find. Um, now I'm gonna make a new folder. I'm gonna call this a new site, okay? And then I'm gonna take this drush make file, I'm gonna copy it and put it in the new site folder. So I'm gonna have the new site drush down. I'm gonna open up terminal. And so you'll see just my directory structure here. So we're gonna do two and then new site. And you'll see there's just a drush make file. So what I'm gonna do then is open actually back up a segment. Right before I make this, I'm gonna actually open the drush.make file. So profiler builder attempts to create uh, the most accurate profile it can, but it doesn't always do this. So if you open it up, you can read through it and see it's pretty clean. Um, it's got all the versions in here. You can determine if you want dev releases or not, because you're not know, using those for these things. But the one thing you want to do is first you want to make sure you don't have any to-dos, right? Or internal things that you know probably shouldn't be there. Like so for my instance, uh, web access I know is an internal project that's not fly to do. These are modules without versions, right? So these are things I'm developing currently. A lot of problems there. Um, so let's just delete all of those for this demonstration. And you'll see it. It knows where Profiler is located because that's on Drupal.org. That's not a big deal to find that. So I took out all of the projects that could potentially cause issues there, I think. Um, yeah, there's no other, no other issue based on this. So we're going to save this. Circular, uh, yes, do it in current directory. And so this will go out, and you can see it's going to flash by. It actually has wget right here. And there we go. So I just got Drupal or, or Drupal 7 dev, 
and then it goes and grabs all these modules. And then it versions the flash drive. So this right here, this level of automation is why people rave about Drush um, a lot. I mean, it's worth using Drush right there. So the next thing you want to do, if you're not done, to get your install profile, is you open profiles and you'll see there's nothing in there. So you want to go and take our sample site. And this is a thing that was made, made by a uh, profile builder. So I'm going to go into the new site profiles and I'm going to copy our sample over there. Right? So now that's in that location. Um, now I'm going to pull my local host here and go to the new site. And you may get this error. If you didn't use the Drush based packaging mechanism for the creation of the profile of builder package, you might get this error. So the way to resolve that is you go to the new site, and go to sites, all libraries, and there's profile. Just copy the libraries directory. And then go to profiles and the profile you want to use and paste it in there. This is a requirement of profiling which profiler builder uses. So you'll see we have English. Um, really cool thing is this actually is using the exclusive flag. Okay, uh, this is the first I've seen. So because I marked exclusive flag in the, in the installation profile, you'll notice if you go to install.php and hit enter, that it automatically populated our sample as the profile to be selected. Um, if I did standard, it would be doing standard. So it's kind of kind of cool. I don't think that's in the latest working version of Drupal, but it is in dev, so it should be there soon. Um, and then from there, you know, you might have other errors. So obviously, it wanted these modules to be downloaded with it, but this is a, an atypical installation. So you would go and get these libraries. You know, Quo is required. OAuth is required. Um, these modules that I had that aren't on Drupal.org are required. So now would be when I would you know, manually copy and paste these because there's projects that require them. Once you do that, then it will run through and install the projects, just like you had on the other site. It won't give you the content, um, but it should give you the structure so long as you bundle it all up in, in features and things like that.